see a baby shoe. Just another addition to the clothing on the floor. So many airplanes coming in and out. There's another one. I think that's the fifth one I've seen since I've been on this road. The Queen City, I'm leaving you today. Charlotte, you've been nice. In the middle of this industrial park, we've got a giant 22 foot iron face that if you catch it at the right time, actually moves because all these metal plates move in and out. Today the motor's not running. He also spits water. If you can catch him at the right time. He seems to be hibernating right now. Just trying to catch a couple of Z's. Welcome to South Carolina. Got him back. South Carolina's got a Patrick. I even found an answer. It's been to Alaska. I don't know what it is, but I haven't seen pine cones in a long time. Pine cones! <laughs> Delicious! Mmm! Pine cones! Oh my goodness, they're my favorite! Mmm! Delicious! Ow! Traffic? Traffic is running. Tech times, Patrick! Bum, bum, bum. Tech times! On the path venture, this is the Loom Cube. I think it might help the GoPro 5 at nighttime. As you know, if you have a GoPro 5 or any GoPro for that matter, it's horrible at nighttime. I referred to it yesterday as a reverse vampire. As in vampires like the night, GoPros can't, can't do it. What's up, GoPro? What are you stopping the corner already? Just take you around the box a little bit. The cool thing about this, I think, is that you can control it with the app. You can control how bright the duration of the flash. It can be used as a flash or as a video light on a shoot at night. Now you're not just working with shadows. You can actually see. It works with cell phones. It works with GoPros. It works with drones. It works with... DSLR camera, so it works with a lot of things. Waterproof up to 100 feet, zero to 100 lumens. I'm not sure how bright that is. I'm gonna test it out later. I don't know my lumens. It attaches via the one quarter mount, which is your standard tripod screw. So I've got a bunch of them still in the side. I've got another one in the side of my camera here. So it's gonna go right on the side right there. Rechargeable, which I like. You don't have to deal with batteries. Looks really nice, really durable. About the size of like a GoPro session. I don't know what the, I don't have anything to open it up with as usual. You know, never prepared, but just got an upper box for presentation and the lower box, all business. Like Drake flies in the front of the plane, but it hasn't flown with you all in a minute. <laughs> it's like just a cable sticker, some instructions, and a caution. And this is not a toy. Not not one of those blocks that can stick into the into the circle spot. Although probably could fit this into one of those toys. Oh yeah, I don't even need one of those Betty things. <laughs> What are they called? Spinning Bettys? Because I can spin it right under here. <laughs> I'm thinking of Bouncing Betty. Really small. Like I said before, about the size of a GoPro session. I'm pretty uh, pretty excited to use it. I don't know. It doesn't come with any charge. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, that's, that's the flash. Just keep on getting brighter and brighter. Right side's flash. Left side is video. Just hold it for a second and it goes on. Hold the left one to turn it on. But then you touch, but then you push the right one to turn it on. I don't know what this screws for. I said, take my fingernails off. I'll, I'll definitely report in, see what's up. And it's gonna be super good. I wanted to unbox it before I went to this next site. This next site's gonna be pretty cool. It's some sort of like abandoned Disney World of sorts. So I figured, what a better spot than to go into like an abandoned area and actually be able to use light. Cause you know, abandoned houses don't have light except for the sun. So that's my idea for using GoPro at nighttime. I think it's a good idea. In theory, you add a flashlight. I don't want to get a huge flashlight and have to be lugging it all over the place. This thing's just pocketable, not very heavy. 
I think they said like an inch and a half cube. You know, I mean, it's, it's the size of a session. I mean, it's, it's not big at all. I was thinking about getting one of those big tactical mag lights, but then I was like, who wants to carry that around? This, this way I can plug it right into the side of my camera and be at. Let's go do it. Let's go test it out. Look at the Carolina Orchards over here. That thing is badass. I love water wheels. I also love wagon wheels. And I want you to, hey, <laughs> mama rock me. Building something over here. All right, it's totally dark. The GoPro cannot see anything. The vampires might be out, but the GoPro wants to be in. Calling it quits for the night. And I've got the loom cube in my hand to see if it's gonna make a difference. Okay, this is just standard flashlight. You really can't see much with it. But as you go up the ranks, and it starts to hit that wall in front of me. Only problem is you probably wouldn't want to hold this thing in your hands because it will get pretty hot. Or at least in the reviews that I've seen. So I'm going to try and get it hot shoed to the side of the GoPro. Okay, just on this pile of rubble here, we'll do a test. This is just normal flashlight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it can last 20 minutes on the highest setting, which is 10. And if you use it between all the other ones, all the other 10, you can get 20, uh, two hours of mixed usage. But it is starting to heat up a little bit on two minutes. On that note, I'm gonna tell you a very scary ghost story.